Hey guys, it's Leah Virgin, your Christian life coach and author at BursingWithBlessings.com. And today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you're having an abundantly blessed day. I like to say I'm abundantly blessed no matter the circumstances. I know that uh, life can be a little bit difficult right now for a lot of people. Um, but it's a great thing to speak over yourself, right? that I'm blessed. I'm blessed no matter the circumstances. And so I appreciate that you guys are here. Let me know how things are going for you, what life is looking like for you guys right now. Today I wasn't feeling super hot, so I was eating lots of raw garlic and raw broccoli dipped in hummus. That is my go-to when I start feeling a little bit, um, what's the word? Um, like a funny fatigue, not where I know that it's not that I haven't slept. Know what I'm saying? And I boosted up my elderberry, my echinacea, the zinc, all the things. Hey, my friend, how are you? Thanks for popping on. Um, so if I'm a little off, just so you know, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth and go to bed. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I am today. Um, but, <laughs> which, you know, is kind of a good thing to think about um, during this time is that we have to be a little more careful with our rest um, and, you know, prayer time and thinking about our health right now and praying for all those who are on the front lines, the nurses and doctors and things like that. Um, I have my RN, I worked in an ICU, um, so I know what it's like uh, to work in, in really difficult um, pressure conditions. And so I definitely want to pray today for those that are working um, under those conditions. Um, I, I I didn't last long working in the ICU. I'm a very, very, very empathetic and I'm very sympathetic and it's a lot to, um, you know, constantly be in a state of emotional overwhelm. And I think a lot of us are feeling overwhelmed right now and uncertain about what the future holds, uncertain about circumstances, wondering, you know, what God's plan is. And this is a time for us to trust in him even more. I was reading in Second Thessalonians um, where Paul was telling the Thessalonians that they've enlarged their faith. And I wrote on the side of my Bible, Lord, please help enlarge my faith. And as I wrote that, I thought, oh, wait, do I really want to pray that prayer? I mean, think about it. I'm being raw and real, you guys. When God grows us and our faith is enlarged, it's often through very difficult circumstances. <laughs> and I'm being very real with you guys. One of the reasons why I love digging into the word of God and growing spiritually is so that I can handle the, the difficult times a little more easily, right? I'm not at this point in my um, walk, I'm not quite kicking and screaming through the hard times. And you guys know, if you've been with me longer than a couple of times, hashtag real and raw in here. <laughs> And so I want to encourage us, like today's verse is a little hard hitting and it's a good one. And that's going to be our verse for not tomorrow, but the next day, that's going to be our devotional. And I'm going to talk about that, but all right, but today's verse kind of goes along with it because spiritual growth, if we can have joy in all circumstances, right? If we can have the mindset shift of being joyful in all circumstances, then that shows us where we are in our spiritual walk, right? We've gotten to a place where we can cultivate a bigger understanding of faith in God and that joy is not just a worldly joy, 
I'm not talking about the worldly joy where we're all like, things are so great and I'm having, you know, a glass of wine and, and watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, I don't watch that. But I have in the past. Just so you know. Real. <laughs> but then they started getting a little weird about something and I was like, and I'm done. <laughs> Just to be real. Um, but, you know, and I was thinking about this is a test of uh, that we, it's almost like a litmus test of where we are in life, right? Where are we in our own thought process? And I told you guys on Monday, I was in a very selfish place. Like I, it was all about me and I pounded out a post on my private page and I was like, Meh. and then I was like, now I'm embarrassed, <laughs> you know, and it kind of showed me, you know, and I even talked to my daughter about that today. Like she didn't want to share her eggs with her brother this morning. And I was like, you know, that's coming from a childlike perspective, but you know, there are adults who don't want to share their life. Pause. Do you know what I'm saying? We're on a pause. Our life is on a pause. And, a lot, and there are some people in this world who don't want to do the pause, who are still going out and making poor choices, right? There are still some Christians who are making choices I don't agree with, right? And so it's kind of a time where we can take a pause. We can grow spiritually, grow in the word, really dig deep and start looking at ourselves in a, in a hard way. Like I wasn't proud of myself at all on Monday. I told you guys, I was embarrassed. I was like, oh, that just showed how selfish my thinking was. <laughs> and today, as I wrote today's um, devotional, if you guys get a chance to look at it, I, I, you know, it made me think, like, this is the command. Be joyful always. Pray at all times. Be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life in union with Christ Jesus. And those are hard-hitting words, like be joyful always, right? And it doesn't have to look like the bubbling, like, oh, I'm so joyful, this is so awesome. I mean, trust me, there are times where I'm like, I'm abundantly blessed, and I am not happy with these circumstances that I'm living in right now, right? You know, we can say that. We can have the mixture of things. We can have the mixture of my feelings but I still do the actions that I'm called to do in Christ Jesus. I heard Dr. Tony Evans one time. If you've, if you've never heard of Dr. Tony Evans with the Urban Alternative, he is like on fire. He's awesome. He's amazing. Um, his sermons are powerful. And he said that when we do that which we know we should do, that's our faith muscles working and walking, right? We're walking out our faith. And, you know, I like, I stole Hannah Keeley's, I didn't steal it because I always give her credit. Hannah Keeley's saying, hashtag do into feeling. We have to do what is going to create the positive abundant life, right? We have to speak life over ourselves. We have to do the actions that it's going to take to create the happy life. We have to, you know, According to the word, we have to spend time in the word. We have to, you know, do the things necessary to reap the benefits down the road, right? You know, King David did the things that it took to build the muscles and to build the leadership skills that it took for him to become king. Right? And we're all leaders of ourselves. We're all leaders by learning the word of God and then acting on the word that we read. Right? And so um, I just want to encourage us to remember that we are joyful in the hard times. We can give thanks for all, all the good things and still pray for things to change. Right? It says... You have not because you ask not, right? So we can ask, but then we have to back it up with, but Father, your will be done. Not my will, but your will. 
right? If we back that up, that also, you know, with the truth of the word, it also gives us the mindset shift that we need, right? That mindset shift of, oh yeah, it's not about me. It's about God's kingdom agenda, right? And I didn't do that on Monday. Let me turn that down. I look washed out. And, uh, and I didn't do that on Monday. I was like, and it's about me. <laughs> ah, all right, you guys. So let's give thanks for all that we have. Let's be joyful in our salvation, in the knowledge that God is with us. And let's also intercede on behalf of those who need it, such as our nurses and our doctors, our CNAs, our all the staff, all the all the everybody who's working during this time. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you for your holy word, which is living and active. Thank you that your word um, can transform our thoughts and our mind. Lord, help us please to fix our mind on the blessings that we have, salvation, breath in our lungs, the ability to share the good news. Lord, I pray for um, all those that are serving right now in hospitals, um, in the military, police, fire. Lord, I pray uh, for protection over them. I pray blessings over um, the, the truck drivers um, those working in the grocery stores, those delivering meals, those caring for the sick, um, those cleaning up after us. Lord, I pray that you would help us all to have a revival of heart and mind, transformation and change, growth in your holy word, maturity, spiritual maturity to focus on your kingdom agenda, Lord God. We pray for a quick and expedient end to this time period, this crisis, for healing, uh, salvation, restoration. We pray for protection, um, wisdom, and guidance for the healthcare workers, for our government officials. Lord, we pray um, that you would give us joy in every moment. Help us to have joy by helping us to have a mindset shift. And so we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day, for your love and mercy, and all that you are doing in, this, in these circumstances. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you abundant blessings. If you have any special prayer requests, please feel free to comment, DM me, PM me. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the devotional. And... Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you guys. I don't remember now. All right. See you guys soon.